That first episode was very unique for an isekai, huh? I don't think... We've seen a lot of isekais, right? It's just like, oh, person gets hit by a truck. They're usually like a virgin, need hikikomori, you know? And then they get reincarnated superpowers and defeat the demon lord, all that jazz. But our parents are already from isekai world, right? And the goddess is actually such a bitch. I mean, Aqua from Konosuba is also a bitch, but this goddess is on a fucking next level. At least the god is good, right? We already got to kind of understand our main character's power. He's got like this barrier domain where he can control everything. He's got like super sight eyes where he can kind of like anticipate the future. He's got like firepower and he's just naturally strong because apparently Earth kind of suppresses whatever power level you have. And we have a dragon waifu and technically what the goddess gave us, which I thought was a shit skill, was... Might be a really good skill, because now, even if we can't speak the common tongue, we can talk to anyone else, including this dragon and the pig, right? So we're going to get a bunch of beast waifus. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> and what do you know? It's a waifu. Ha ha ha. Who would have thought? Oh yeah. Can you do that? Go back to dragon form. Right, it wasn't pure 50-50. She couldn't do a 50-50 contract, right? We were like too overwhelming, so it's an 80-20 for us. The weaker creature takes on the... Oh, so even her turning into a waifu, there's actual meaning in this. Interesting. Hmm. Yeah. She's a weeb, right? She keeps calling herself a samurai. What does she see in her fucking past memories? Yeah. All the weep shit? What did she see? Okay, so she saw some kind of like Rooney Kenshin like drama. Okay, okay. Black Spider of Disaster. Here we go. Waifu number two. You can look at right at the everywhere. What do you mean? It looks great. Yeah, the samurai girl is great. She's not shy at all. Hmm? Demi plane? Just like a different dimension? What? Okay. Whoa. Different world entirely. Oh, we're gone. What about Emma? Yeah? She doesn't even know where we went? Okay. But now it's all forced. Like, is it because of the contract? Is it because of the contract? CGI flowers. Sorry, CGI wheat barley thing. <laughs> she really loves those. So this is like our little private dimension. And it's influenced by his own earth experiences. Okay. Oh, it's like a safe space from the goddess too, maybe? Maybe. A town here? Like a secret town. Our own dimension. That's kind of cool. Oh yeah, Emma was going to sacrifice herself. Are we gonna... Just... Well, yeah, was she doing that shit or... Hmm. Hey, it's Emma again. God. Now these aren't toes. These aren't grippers. These are fucking hooves. Pig feet is actually a delicacy in many cuisine, man. Pig feet is actually so good. The fuck? No one will marry me because I got punched? Yeah, we're even greater than. No, don't scare Emma. She's so cute. Drink like a fish and eat like a horse. Hey, yo, look at these orcs, man. God damn. Oh, you know, Emma's personality is really nice. Hey, there's Shin. Yeah, but like, isn't the reason they were sacrificed because of Shin? I'm confused. Other people are using Shin's name? Oh, we're gonna recruit the orcs into our dimensional plane then. Maybe? Demi plane? Huh? 
Demiplane. Her sanctuary. It's like a monster sanctuary. Yeah, it's her land. It's, it shouldn't matter, right? That's her place. He doesn't like it at all? You would beat the demons, little kid? Who are you? Who? I... I don't... No, no, no. When, when the fuck did she come up? Who the fuck is she? Baby Shin? Who... Shin has different... She got a fucking lolly self too? There's like a big shit. Oh, 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 okay. Huh? It's a fragment. We can make lolly clones. I mean, they're just throwing a lot of just like plot at me or immediately. Uh, not plot, but like how this world works, right? It's like, oh, Shin's here. She's got a demi plane. By the way, she got a lolly child too. Actually, it's a clone. Okay. <laughs> Don't look at me with those eyes, Emma. In the demi plane. We just take this village and transport it there, huh? Literally just copy paste. Alright. We're just like whimsically just building a sanctuary with different monsters, but I feel like this has serious implications for the future, right? What kind of like. Whoa, Emma! Magic, but what kind of like authority will we have like this, right? Or will other humans think that we're like, I don't know, collecting an army of monsters? They're gonna like antagonize us? What about light? Oh, I thought his like fire skills would be the best. Interesting. What is this? She's just like a super, super fan of these old samurai drama stuff, huh? She loves the old Shogun haircut, too. She should cut her hair like that. What, just because he's a master, he's not allowed to do some labor? Okay. Give me a Waga Aruji then, just like Ranga would. <gasps> no! What the fuck did she just grab? What the, what the, what? I think this is just like, we're just having fun times and we're just doing nonsensical shit and she's grabbing some kind of memory from his head. <laughs> Jesus, that clothing is barely hanging on. It, it's barely fucking hanging on. <laughs> Does she like the visual novels too, huh? Does she like the visual novels? <laughs> not that one, not that one. Wrong one, wrong one. <laughs> Don't give me that nya! She's learning quick. She's learning really quick. She's acting like a cat girl now. Everything. Everything. Your entire internet browsing history. You can't just build a TV. What do you mean? Can she? I'd be impressed if she can actually build a TV. Yeah, she loves all this weep shit. Who's that girl in the top right? Mom and dad. Mom and dad. Are we ever gonna meet them here? They're already isekai characters. I'm not sure. Oh, well, we could take it here now, maybe, right? Yeah, they're from here. Here, like what? They're humans? Like HYU? Follow his parents' path. Okay. But we can't even talk to them. We don't have the common tongue. Yes, talk shit against her. Oh? Dwarf! Mr. Dwarf, run! <laughs> Black disaster. Ooh. Is he dead? Maybe he's dead. But... 
Oh, they're so nice. Like, technically, we're like their master, but they're very nice. You can probably pick it up, right? So easily. Ching. Just use one simple cut. Kai. Decide to name this power given to me. I, is this like the reinforcement? Because he can like reinforce and like become really strong, right? That's one of the powers. Oh, this is like imbuing your weapons with like the elemental magic. I think. That's such a clean cut. God damn. Right, this is the reinforcement now. So he can just like imbue that element upon himself or the weapon. That's Kai. Small cut across like that. Don't worry, Kai. So in his domain, he can do anything, right? Because the explanation of this power here was very vague. It's like, all right, I can create this like semicircular space and I can do anything. So like, it's like the power of imagination in this domain. You can do anything like heal him right now. Hi. <laughs> okay, this is fucking... <laughs> okay, <laughs> what? <laughs> like... Hold the fuck up. This might be the one of the most bullshit powers I've seen it in an isekai, man. Yeah, because that domain is bullshit. Kai doesn't expend mana? Kai not... But I thought Kai was like imbuing your weapon or like your, um, your body with like, you know, the property of flame or something. But in this domain, that was still Kai. What he did there? I, I don't understand. Is Kai just like a vague general term for like anything? It is overpowered. Mr. Skuyomi has hooked us up with such ridiculous power. It's fucking insane. Heal yourself, bro. Yeah, look at this. He can just heal himself. Wait, no, he can't. Okay, a little bit of a limitation. Because if you can just like self-regenerate on this domain, you just basically activate and just sit here, right? It'd be kind of too overpowered, but... Okay, so a little bit of like a little, little limitation here. Mm. Can't heal himself. <laughs> I doubt I'll need much healing anyway. Well, his durability is kind of insane, right? Who is it? Shin or... Oh, it's the guy that was uh, getting hunted by the spider girl. So he's healing, imbuing powers? Okay. Kai is everything. Or is the spider? Give me the spider waifu. Oh, here she comes! So... Do we make a contract with a spider too? They know each other? Yo, we need to give her a fucking samurai sword. I kind of really want her to get a samurai sword and start doing some weeb samurai shit. Man, it should be pretty easy. The black spider of disaster. Yeah, she just has an insatiable hunger. Is she gonna be so down bad? Like, is the hu so like is the hunger gonna basically translate into this girl just super down bad? And like when she turns into human form, she's just constantly gonna lust over him because she's hungry, aka horny. Mm. Interesting. <laughs> Damn! Yo, that short blade is so fucking strong! He instantly, like, has... Well, he's been practicing magic, but, like, his applications of magic, the way he's been thinking about it right now, it's kind of really OP. Like, he's learned... Like, he, ha he doesn't have mastery over it, but it's pretty impressive, right? Like, the strategy already, it's pretty fucking smart. Oh, she gone. Oh, it's got regeneration too. Then kill it in one blow. Fuga. 
Yo, every time we attack the spider, it keeps fucking like whimpering and moaning. Like the girl, like even last episode when we we're fighting Shin, right? You could hear Shin's like girl voice actor kind of muffled. We can hear her right now too when we attack her. Fuga. Yeah, right there. Oh! Yeah, that was very meticulous. Like, she, she keeps making noises, man. Does she like this? So she's like a Tio from Arifurata. She loves this abuse. She likes getting hit. These are moans. These are not cries for help. These are moments. We got an M here. All right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Elder Dwarf Weapons. More world building shit, okay. So like our little short blade imbued with Kai, right? Using Kai on it, like is stronger than an Elder Dwarf Weapon. Who knows how strong an Elder Dwarf Weapon is, but kind of cool to see, you know, there's world building stuff like this. What is an Elder Dwarf though? Is it like the most important dwarf? Yo, she's gonna love this. Stop. She loves this. <laughs> she loves this, dude. Abuse me more. Oh, wait. Yo, that's a straight pierce. I love how we just said, ah, we don't need to heal ourselves that much. That's gonna be a big deal. Immediately gets fucking punctured now. What do we do here? Someone has to have healing properties. Maybe the spider heals them up. Maybe Shin does. Maybe the Elder Dwarf. Interesting. Oh, oh, oh. Yo, I, I think this might be one of the first times we actually got to see like a main character moment from this guy. You see that? That was cool. That was actually cool. That was like straight up a main character moment. Yo, he's mad. Oh, hey. What? What? Self exploding mechanism? Oh, shit. How does he do this? Is this just him being like latent talent from being a son of like two important parents? What the fuck? He's just so good. Yeah, this is magical application is insane. What is this? What is this? He's fucking not just doing fire arrow. It's like fucking water tornado shit. Yo, we're about to fucking hit him with the Genshin Impact Elemental Reaction. You apply power onto it. Then you fucking apply, uh, you, you trigger it with the water. You know what happens? Fat vaporize. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, they did say, like, they did specifically say his affinity is water. Damn. This fight, what is this spider? Why are you so regenerating every time, like... Yeah, we got a fucking pervert here. I mean, a lot of people like these kind of characters too. Like, I, you guys are already saying like, you love the spider girl, right? Like, between the weeb samurai waifu and the masochist, hmm. I don't know. Personality-wise, like Emma is like probably the most normal, nice girl, right? I really like Emma. She's a she's a very sweet girl, but then, you know. If she, She's, she's bacon. <laughs> you know, she's bacon. <laughs> okay. They know each other though. It's been stated, right? It's been a while. That's right. They know each other. Like mythical creatures here, right? Wait. Oh, it's because she's in a dragon, not dragon form. Are we just getting who megalold right now? 
like straight up the spider's like who the fuck are you i i don't remember you i don't even remember your name <laughs> wait <laughs> who <laughs> literal who shin what relationship? So now the spider should also get a contract and turn into a waifu, right? Fuck his consent. Yeah, we can get the consent later, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? This, this, this clothing is fucking hanging on for its dear life. Even right now, they're showing the armpits. Like, this, this, her, Shin's outfit? Whoever designed this, like... Great. Great. Come on, change into human. Let's see this, let's see this. 80-20 split again? She is about as strong as Shin too, okay. Oh, another waifu, who would have fucking thought? Because she wants to be like a samurai Japanese, you know, you know, it's like traditional Japanese stuff. She wants like straight black hair. Yeah, how does she get healed too? Yeah! Maybe the spider healed us? We're, we were stabbed all over the place. Yeah, somebody's healed, that's probably the spider girl. Goshujin Sama. We got a maid. We got a Masuchi's maid now. God damn. <laughs> what meal? Meal? Was there ever a mention of a meal? Was there a mention of a meal? <laughs> Thank you for the meal. Ah, okay. Was it blood? Blood or, you know. Mm, some other fluids. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, she's nice. I like her. I mean, they're, I mean, they straight up said that we can ask for consent after. You know, the wording of this anime is very sus. She's an absolute freak, yep. And just like that, we have a spider waifu and a dragon waifu. And that's the episode. This episode was pretty hype. It's actually really hype and some really important things were happening too, right? Like, we have a demiplane, you know, the implication of an 80-20 contract means that she has to remain in a human form because, you know, it, you know, you know, our Makoto, or, you know, our, our main character is the one with the higher, you know, percentage. Emma's cute as usual. We have fragments. Uh, Shin has fragments and you can just create little, little mini versions of herself. The hair color is a little bit bluer, right? I'm not sure what that really means for the future, but okay. Apparently, like, that kid said, I'll kill the demons, right? The kid said, I'll beat the demons. Maybe the fragments are super strong. You never know, right? We got a little bit more of like demi plane kind of building the world building. We're, we're collecting pretty much like different monster groups and just going to put us in our little storage. And this is like a safe space where the goddess can't intervene. Or at least that's the assumption. We don't really know for sure. We get to learn a little bit more about Kai and the fucking barrier magic, dude. This, this barrier magic might be fucking... Like, this is ridiculous, right? Like, you just come in and he can just heal you. But you can do anything. Like... Literally just imagine you can do it, but the little bit of a limitation is that he can't heal himself. Spider girl. Well, who would have thought it's going to be another waifu? Definitely not me, right? This is a really cool scene, though. When we got punctured like this, and he said, hey, right? And he went into this, like, berserk mode. Damn, we're just seeing a little bit of a glimpse of what kind of character that he can be in the future, right? This main character coldness, this ruthlessness. Ooh, I'm all for it. And interesting that he keeps using the fire magic, right? He keeps using the fire magic, even though he says that his affinity is best with water. This water animation, something about this, like the arrow just saw like the tornado, I don't know, the whirlpools around this, his water arrow thing. Very cool. Very strong. I don't really know exactly how strong he is though, because we're already defeating these like mythological beings who's supposed to be like this invincible dragon and like the black disaster, right? But until we meet some actual other people that's important in the story and we can kind of scale the power to have a reference point, I can't really tell. But clearly, he is fucking busted. And people keep also saying that, just remember, this is just like the basic magic. Like, these are just like very normal, basic magic. Implying in the future, shit's gonna get even more crazier. First two episodes, great start to this anime. And we have second season. That's two cores, right? Don't worry, we'll catch up. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.